composite functions. If x is the input, then x goes into function machine g and out comes g of x. g of x then goes into function machine f and out comes f of g of x. For this set of function machines, if x is the input and goes into function machine f, out comes f of x. f of x then goes into function machine g and out comes g of f of x. Example 1. If f of x equals x squared and g of x equals x plus 3, a, find f of g2. So first, do g of 2, which equals 2 plus 3. So g of 2 is equal to 5. Then put 5 into f, so do f5, which equals 5 squared. So f of 5 is equal to 25. Therefore, f of g2 is equal to 25. b, do g of f2. So first, do f2, which is equal to 2 squared. So f of 2 is equal to 4. Then put 4 into g, so do g of 4, which equals 4 plus 3. So g of 4 is equal to 7. Therefore, g of f 2 is equal to 7. Example 2. If f of x equals x squared and g of x equals x plus 3, a, find f of g of x. So first, do g of x. So g of x equals x plus 3. Now put x plus 3 into f. So f of x plus 3 is equal to x plus 3 squared. So f of x plus 3 is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9. Therefore, f of g of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9. B, find g of f of x. So first, do f of x. So f of x is equal to x squared. Now put x squared into g of x. So g of x squared which equals x squared plus 3. Therefore, g of f of x is equal to x squared plus 3. Example 3. If f of x equals x minus 3 and g of x equals root 3x, Find the domain of g of f of x. First, do f of x. So f of x is equal to x minus 3. Then put x minus 3 into g of x. So you want to find g of x minus 3, which is the square root of 3 lots 
of x minus 3. Now we want to find the domain. The domain is the input. Because we have a square root, inside the square root must be greater than or equal to 0. We cannot find the square root of a negative number. Therefore, 3x minus 3 must be greater than or equal to 0. So 3x minus 9 must be greater than or equal to 0. So 3x must be greater than or equal to 0. So x must be greater than or equal to 0. So the domain x belongs to x must be greater than or equal to 0. x belongs to any real numbers. Example 4. If f of x equals x minus 3 and g of x equals the square root of 3x, find the domain of f of g of x. First find g of x. So g of x equals the square root of 3x. Now do f of x. So you do f of the square root of 3x, which equals the square root of 3x minus 3. Now to find the domain, the limiting value occurs with the square root of 3x. The square root of 3x must be greater than or equal to 0. So 3x must be greater than or equal to 0. So x must be greater than or equal to 0. So the domain x belongs to x must be greater than or equal to 0 x belongs to any real number. You may also be asked to solve numerical composite functions. So example 5, if f of x is equal to x squared plus 3 and g of x is equal to 2x minus 1, a find f of g3. So the first thing you do is you input 3 into g of x. So g3 is equal to 2 times 3 minus 1, which is equal to 5. Then you do f5. So you do f5, which is equal to 5 squared plus 3, which is equal to 20. Eight. B. G of f of three. So the first thing you do is f three. So we do f three, which is equal to three squared plus three, which is nine plus three, twelve. Then you do g of twelve which is equal to 2 times 12 minus 1, which is equal to 24 minus 1, which is 23. And for C, we have a triple composite function. The first thing you need to do is G2, which is equal to 2 times 2 minus 1, which is equal to 3. Then you put 3 into f, so you do f3, which is 3 squared plus 3, which is 9 plus 3, which is 12. And then you do f of 12, which is 12 squared plus 3, which is 144 plus 3, which is equal to 147. You can also do all these on your GDC. Open your GDC at a 
calculator page and the first thing you've got to do is define your two functions so our first function f of x make sure you're outside the bracket control so we're on x squared plus three hit enter now define the second function g of x make sure you're outside the bracket control and that is 2x minus 1. Enter. Now we can answer the question. So the first one is you want to define, or find the answer to, f of g of 3. Press Enter. The answer is 28. The second one, you want to find G of F of X. No, not X. We want 3. So enter. And the answer is 23. And the last one, we want F of g of sorry that's slightly wrong we want f of f of g of 2 press enter the answer is 147